Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says replace the parallel force system acting on the plate by the resultant force and specify its location on the X and Y plane. So this problem is really easy and it's easy also to overcomplicate it in your head, but let's find it. Notice that all the forces are going in the same direction, which is the Y direction. That being said, the first step is always find the sum of the forces, which is the sum of the forces in the Y, because that's all we have. And it's equal to minus 2k, minus 5k, minus 3k, which is all equal to minus 10k in the j direction. Sum of the forces, the y. Now, we have to find the point at which you, this uh, resultant force would apply in the, in the x and y plane. And for this, we basically have to do two calculations, which is the sum of the moments around x. Now the sum of the moment around x, remember that it's going to be the resultant force, let's call it fr, times the distance in the c direction. Okay, same thing goes for the sum of the force, sum of the moments in the c is going to give you by the resultant force times a distance x. Assuming that the resultant force is uh, in the j. This is only true if the resultant force is in the j. You have to remember that because uh, if I remember correctly, yes, it's in the j and remember the c would be in the k. This would be in, and x would be in the i. So yeah, that gives you k. And in the x, that gives you i. Perfect. That being said, sum of the moments in the x is equal to the sum of the forces in the y times the distance between the x, which is c. So you plug in the numbers, and you know that sum of the moments in the x is equal to 2k times 2.5 that is this force right here and the distance between this force and the x-axis is 2.5 plus 5k times 1.5 which is this one and the distance between that and the x-axis is 1.5 plus 3 times 0.5 which is the last force and the distance with the x-axis Apply this into your calculator and you get 14 newton kilo newton meters. Sum of the moments of the x. Now plug that into this formula and you get 14 is equal to 10 times d. d is equal to 1.4 meters. Sorry, dc. It's important to have the C there. Now we're going to do basically the same thing, but for the C, which is sum of the moments in the C, is equal to 2K times 1.5, which is this force again, but it, the distance between it and the C axis, plus 5 times 0.5, which is this one again, but the distance with the C axis, which is 0.5, plus 3 times 1.5 which is the last one, and the distance with the c-axis. Plug all this in and you get this exactly 10 kilonewton meters. Sum of the moments in the c. And now you plug this into the formula that says sum of the moments in the c is equal to sum of the forces in the y direction times that distance. So 10 is equal to 10 times the distance x. So you get that dx 
is equal to one meter. So that means that the force will be applied at one, which is somewhere right here, more or less, and 1.4, which is someone, somewhere right here. Obviously, we're going in that direction because all the forces are going in the same direction. Let's make it bigger. Final answer. Um, let me actually put, put it as a point. So it will be the x, c coordinates will be 1 and 1.4. Final answer.